We meet her once again. You really like these videos? Drop a thumbs up. Let's get How into it. Ghosts. Call on camera. Ghosts oh. of Carmel, Maine. I featured in the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine many times on Nuke's Top 5, so I won't go through a full recap. Oh, dang but put simply, Kent Burris says that he lives in a very haunted house and has recorded many strange supernatural encounters in his home. The hardest things to deal with. Okay, and, and there is a clip. Do you know where I freaked out? I kind of saw that clip. Okay, so we're going to have more context by the looks. While living in this house, and one of the most frightening encounters are in fact apparitions. Son of a bro, uh, this is bad. Oh, dude. oh my! I'm gonna do something. Oh my! The reason, One night. The reason, the reason, <laughs> the reason I'm kind of freaking out this early is because, like, I I believe that footage is actually real. Uh, While sleeping, I need your thoughts. There was a loud bang in the bedroom that woke me up. I started hearing faint voices, so I picked up my cell phone camera and started recording. One night, Ken hears voices coming from downstairs and records as he heads down to investigate. He is yeah. not prepared for what he finds waiting in the dark first floor TV room. Okay, this is one of those clips I have not seen. I have seen that bad. I feel like this is either a follow-up or a prequel. We're really getting a sequel or a prequel, bro. This is crazy. Subscribe if you're new in. This is, oh my God, bro, like. Oh, no, no, no. Son of a what the hell are you? Honey. As Kent Bro. walks into the pitch black room, the TV has somehow turned itself on. Now, this might explain the voices, but as he pans his camera around the room, a dark shape suddenly appears right in front of the television screen. What? The shadow figure seems to collapse into itself as it disappears right in front of his eyes. What the hell are you? I did not go back to sleep that night. So did Damn. Kent capture yet another shadow apparition in his haunted house? You I mean, okay, so the crazy part here is that he is seeing that and he's also capturing on camera. Don't they have a policy to never kind of like show up in person? Uh, like, don't they have a policy to not show up on camera and also in person? It's either one or the other, right? Like, I'm, con I'm confused. Aside, you can watch this full documentary over on the YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. I've Check. reacted to the entire thing before. This is one of those clips that I didn't. If I still, if I find that link, I will link you at the end. You gotta check that out. Checking out early. Iraqi fitness trainer Mustafa from the YouTube channel Mustafa Al Tai says that he heard a strange story about a family who had fled their home in Iraq many years ago because a sinister jinn began haunting their home. The house has been left abandoned for over 60 years, as the family says they couldn't find anyone willing to rent or buy the cursed property. Mustafa Damn. goes to investigate the house with his friend Salar to see if the spooky stories are true. And it did not go well. Ah! As the two explorers are about to enter the house, they have no idea that something seems to be watching them. Damn. So is that like an Arab ghost hunter? It's kinda. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, this is gonna be crazy, man. This is Allah. Uh oh. It's about to get real. Now it's certainly a bit hard to see, but when the video is slowed down and enhanced, a very strange figure can be seen standing at the window. Yeah, I found now that it's there unclear was exactly there. what this bizarre shape could be, but when Mustafa's camera pans back, the dark figure has disappeared. After the two explorers enter the house, things only get weirder. The two friends hear strange sounds coming from the staircase. They go to investigate, and this happens. Oh no, oh no, this is. There is sound, there is a sound, Habibi. Bismillah. Bismillah. There, there is no light in here, I'm scared. I'm scared, brother. It's praying. Oh no, no, no. It's bad. <laughs> Yo, I, oh, I only have one mag. I gotta conserve ammo. I gotta conserve <laughs> No, come here. Please come here. Just phone everything. He says. Just come back, please. Just come. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I left the computer. Dude, like, is he really gonna... Um, An empty pace. Is he really gonna pull his, way, his way out? Like, that's crazy, bro. Like, don't leave your homie hanging like that. Bucket is thrown from somewhere above them, barely missing the two explorers. Mustafa runs upstairs to see where it came from, but his friend Salar heads for the exit. Eventually, Mustafa convinces Salar to come back, but after hearing more scary, unexplained sounds, they both decide to leave. <laughs> Mustafa yeah. uploads his video to YouTube, and many of his viewers want to see more. In the video comments, his fans dare him to go back and actually spend the night in the haunted house. Damn. So, Mustafa agrees. He returns to the house, determined to stay the night, this time all alone. Mustafa what? sets up a few static cameras in one of the rooms. Yo, I'm hype. I'm hype. What a guy. What a guy, bro. Like, he's gonna get bumbo cut. Like, don't do that, man. That's a bad decision by him, and he's doing for the entertainment. It's good. And attempts to settle in for the night. But before long, Mustafa's night takes a terrifying turn. Terrifying. Okay, moves his bag. Yeah. Homie trying to sleep. Uh oh. He's alone, but he's acting like he's not. There is a sound, but we can't be sure. If it's something supernatural, it might just be wind. Or. Oh, that's a dog. There's a dog and. That is a dog. He's praying, praying. Yeah, he kind of thick actually. No, no, no homo. No homo. Oh, damn, son. So he's the only one there with his camera. Oh, damn, son. He's strong. I mean, he got Strange a beard, moans so and loud venoms keep Mustafa on the edge and unable to rest. But Dro uh, drop a like. Let me know in the comments if you got a beard as well, because people with beard uh, be kind of strong, actually. Little awesome. does he know, things are about to get even creepier. Sometimes we gotta take credit for ourselves because I feel like people with beard they do not take credit enough. And if you got a beard, you gotta take credit, man. I mean, come on, man. That's your birthright, bro. But it's about to get creepy, he said. All right. Ah! It's not even shaken up, you know? Look at the ceiling. We can't look at the ceiling, man. Not even scared. Has a beard, that's why, you know? Has a beard. What? Something moved. <laughs> Damn. Damn, yo, that was completely out of the ordinary, bro. But he's a heavy not piece of stone sitting on top of the fireplace seems to move on its own. Then, as if propelled by an invisible force, it violently crashes to the ground, nearly landing on Mustafa's head. Understandably, now it was going on the other direction. It came like that. Either it's fake or because now I'm not saying that it should have hit him, hit on him. That would have hurt him for sure. But I feel like that if this is if this is a real video, then the ghost didn't want that thing to land on him. Just wanted to freak him out. Or this is a sign that it's actually fake because it didn't land on him and it was just basically faked out and it was just meant to throw on the other side. Thoughts? Mustafa is now freaked. Out. Still entertaining. He's Still only been though. inside the house a little over an hour, but he decides to put an early end to his overnight investigation. But now here's where things get really creepy, because the most terrifying part of Mustafa's stay inside the house isn't even what he saw or heard with his own eyes and ears. Damn. You see, his static cameras caught video of something strange that he wasn't even aware of. Fire. Something downright chilling. No, 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 there, okay, somebody happen. Get your popcorns. So you're saying that he wouldn't see, but the camera would. Look at how strange the light. Oh, I don't know what I'm looking at, bruh. Oh, no, no, no. This light is for my phone, okay. Oh my god, yo, no, 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 no. I think someone will pop, dude. 
Okay, so he's setting up his phone. I think I saw... What? Is that a shadow? Yeah, something moved, right? Some move, something Did you move. see it? Yeah. As Mustafa is repositioning his static camera, a dark figure appears behind him on the staircase. It slowly moves down the stairs without making a sound, and then disappears out of sight. But this isn't the only time Mustafa captured this creepy figure during his nighttime stay. The gym got life. Again, a dark, very bizarre figure quickly appears behind Mustafa, not once, but twice. Could it be that he can Might be a Shivava. Sure, the djinn that haunts the home on camera? Whatever it is, it seems to change shape, size, and even transparency. So just what is this? Transparency? Let me know what you think. It you can check out Mustafa's full two-part video investigation of the house over on his YouTube channel, Mustafa Altai. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting hey. channel and you caught Ram Inn. With the past as dark as the ancient Ram Inn, it's not surprising that it is said to be the most haunted building in all of England. The mysterious inn was built way back in the year 1145 on top of a pagan burial. 1145? ground. This and it weird. served as the home to slaves, masons, and workers. In the 1500s, a woman hid out in the building before she was captured and burned as a witch. Damn. Years later, the innkeeper's daughter is said to have hung herself in the attic. And as if all- That era was kind of creepy, right? Because if you looked uh, if you looked identical or if you were, or even not, if you just looked like a witch, they would burn you alive. All that wasn't creepy enough. The decaying remains of sacrificed children were found buried under the inn's floor. Damn. The ancient Ram That's Inn is said to be so violently haunted that when the building was sold to John Humphreys in 1968, his wife and daughters absolutely refused to live there. They moved out, leaving John Humphreys all alone to live in the house. So, British paranormal investigators Sean Kenna, Sean Owen, and Carl Hassel from the YouTube channel Dark Territory traveled to the Haunted Inn to investigate the multiple claims of paranormal activity. During their investigation, they hear bizarre, unexplained sounds, and Sean feels something touching his leg. Already, oh, as soon as we're about to begin filming the investigation, something draws our attention upstairs. That's kind of good. Sounds so like touching you his leg. rolled a barrel, or did you work at the inn? Dude, upstairs. Upstairs. Go, go. So they heard that. Yeah, just heard now they're moving upstairs. Like moving up here. So, so this is like. Is this where you a, are? Almost. This area is almost a thousand years old, right? Damn. Are you the witch? They call this room the witch's room, so we only assume that. Or you can technically say 500 years old because it's 1500. You're the witch. You're, you're felt in here. Did anyone hear the voice a second ago before you said you're felt in here? No. Witch, you're, you're felt in here. Witch, you're, you're felt in here. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know if it's a voice or it was like a, like a cat. Yeah. I yeah. I don't know, man. Did you used to sleep in this bed, witch? Bruh, are you really gonna Jesus ask? Is you ran you ran fell asleep on my leg, man. Someone was on my leg. Jesus Christ, bro. Dude, Touch me leg. Call the cops. Later, Sean Kenna and Sean Owen are exploring on the second floor. Things get even stranger. What little room are you hiding in? Bro, are you really gonna try to sleep on her bed like that, bro? Come on. Like, what the Show bro? yourself. I'm sure you're not afraid of me and Owen. Guys, the door just opened. Yo, I'm running out of ammo, bro. I gotta stop. The door to the attic opens on its own, and the team can't find any explanation for this strange occurrence. There was no draft, and the team had been walking back and forth past the door many times without it making any movement whatsoever. 
Now, since it has always been said that dark spirits and entities supposedly, quote, feed off fear, the team decides to do an experiment to see if the emotion of fear will trigger even more paranormal activity. Yeah. So they tie up and blindfold team member Carl and put him in one of the beds in the bishop's room. Dang. This room is said to be the most supernaturally active. Bruh. At first, nothing really happens. And as time passes, Carl seems to grow more and more impatient. But then, things take a terrifying turn. Uh-oh. I think a terrifying turn? Okay, you better not be... Touch me leg. Better not be careful. Touch, touch my leg, bro! Mm, so that's kind of... <laughs> Carl, POV. Oh, oh my god. Yo, that's his POV, bro. Can you around me now? You make a sound. Oh, so <laughs> eh, 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 uh, oh, 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 What the <laughs> f was that, bro? <laughs> what, man? You this something's just falling off here. F is of that? course, dummy. <laughs> Through the f push me, bro. What Dog, like I was kind of freaked out by those eyes for, uh, from that teddy bear. Coming from a car. He's always holy sh man. We need to. Go you get me the car right now, Joe. Love. Sir, bro, I just. Seriously, someone just whacked me, no joke. I heard something being thrown or something. And I was like, come on, and then someone just whacked me, no joke, as if someone's. Yo, whack me, man. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm running. Carl yeah, begins to freak out as he feels yeah. something touching his leg. A candle then falls onto the floor. But scariest of all, something unseen slaps Carl on the chest. The violent smack is actually loud enough that the audio can be heard on camera. Yeah. The homie press triangle and with that, fast. Carl and then is done. In abject terror, he frantically struggles his way out of the rope, binding his legs and wrists. I mean, why? Put the ropes that tight, dog. So did the paranormal investigators capture proof of the sinister ghost that haunt the ancient Ram Inn? Let or great Hollywood actors. Let me know what you think. Hollywood, Hollywood You can watch this what? full video and many more investigations of haunted English locations over on the YouTube channel, Dark Territory. A Mexican paranormal investigator, Alberto Del Arco, travels to a mansion in Manzanillo, Mexico. The massive hillside estate has been mysteriously abandoned for over 35 years. 35 years, Mexico, I mean, this is gonna be bad. And it looks more like a hotel than a home. It features a pool, a spa area, and an amazing view of the ocean. So no one really knows why such a luxurious home would be abandoned for over three decades. Yeah, what However, else more do you want? However, urban right? legend says that one of the home's previous tenants perished in a mysterious fire inside the house. Because of this, locals refer to the estate as the quote, house of the burn man. The entire property is said to be extremely haunted. Once Alberto and his two cameramen make their way inside, they find the home's design, uh, a bit confusing. Todavía no le encuentro la forma. This is not good. Here's the room is here. Uh, have you checked this? He says. No, todavía existe. No, not yet, brother. Hola. Oh, screen. Atrás, atrás. Here, here, in the back. Was it an animal? I don't know. Algún ave? Maybe a bird. Okay, pero eso vino de este lado. Okay, but that came from the, this side. Soy yo claro. It sounded clear. Madres. Madre, ¿Fuiste pues tú? Madre? ¿Ahorita que pisaste? Sí. ¿O no? Sí. Se oyó muy hueco, eh. Cuidado, sí, retumbó todo. No se nos vaya a caer encima Let's parte de esta propiedad, porque sí se ve que está. ¿Por qué, puta madre? Because muy dañada. Mira, ahí, ven, ven, ven. Ven a ver esto. ¿Estás bien? Bro, what? Sí. What Casi me estrella en la cara, güey. ¿Lo viste? Sí. Su madre. Bro, this is what started the, the Roni situation. The co I cannot say the word on YouTube. Bomba God! <laughs> While exploring the strangely constructed mansion, the team hears what sounds like a child's voice, followed by the sound of a breath. Even though the unexplained sounds are barely picked up by their microphones, the three explorers all seem to hear it very clearly. Next, Alberto has a frightening close encounter with a bat. 
And after that, <laughs> the team just decides to continue their investigation outside. As they Megalol, I thought he was gonna say after that the team decided to just leave the area. You know what? They were just scared. Okay, but not! They actually continued. Ah! Check out the other buildings on the sprawling estate. Bruh. So there are only two people, right? Hola. Hola. Eh, no sé, voy como que arrastraron algo. Buena noche. Buena noche. No creo que haya I don't think gente there's viviendo aquí, la verdad. Here, Uy. Está enorme este lugar. This place is huge. Atrás, 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 aquí. I mean, eso aquí, eso aquí, eso aquí. Why would a homeless Con person cuidado. try to hide, though, you know? Puede haber animales, eh? There may be animals. Alberto and his team hear strange sounds coming from inside some of the buildings. It sounds almost like something heavy being dragged across the floor. Since the hillside the mansion sits on is almost impossible to access, Alberto thinks it would be unlikely that any homeless people could be living there. Mm. Instead, he believes that all of the sounds that he is hearing could simply be made by animals. But even though Alberto is very skeptical, what happens next is not so easy to explain. Yo, bro, like that cake, that cake is popping out, okay? First of all, I gotta appreciate the cake. That cake's crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened? Oh, there are three people. Ay, wey, a mí se me hizo ver alguien acá. I swear Allá, I saw ¿dónde? someone. Where? Over there? ¿Dónde, dónde, dónde, dónde? Where, where? ¿Dónde? No habrá sido una sombra, no habrá sido Wasn't algún árbol. Wasn't it a tree? Alguna rama. ¿Lo habrá trabado o no? Did you record it? Sí. I think so, you did. Okay, habrá que revisar ese okay, material. We'll have to check the footage. Alberto's cameraman captures what appears to be a white translucent figure on camera. A little later into their investigation, and they capture something again. Something again, okay. Ya hay más escaleras que van hacia abajo, Are eh? there more stairs leading? Cuidado. Mucho murciélago. Yeah, I felt like something came off. It was a bat, huh? ¿Qué hay allá? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? ¿Qué pasó? Something moved? Shiza? ¿Dónde? 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 Yo, why you ¿Dónde? act like that, man? It's scary. ¿No son los murciélagos? Can you hear the bats? Huele muy mal. It smells really bad, Huele muy, muy mal. It smells really bad? Bats come flying out towards the cameraman, but it's not a bat that spooks him. A bizarrely shaped shadow seems to be staring back at him from just inside one of the rooms. They go to check it out, but there's nothing there. The figure has vanished, leaving nothing behind but a very foul stench. Before long, the echoing sound of a raging party being celebrated somewhere nearby starts to make it impossible for them to capture clear, uninterrupted audio. Alberto and his team have no choice but to wrap up their investigation. However, out. Right before they leave, they capture something truly chilling. Yo, I was waiting for this truly chilling. Cuidado. Ok, les parece si... Ok, how about... Si bajamos? Why? No, that's a Digo, bad, stupid move. Digo, aquí no hay más que una pequeña explanada. What? No está tan espectacular como la de arriba, quizá. ¿Arriba? Pero se me hace curioso que esté uh -huh. este piso, ¿no? Eh. At the time they recorded this, the team says that they were completely unaware that someone or something seemed to be watching them from the tree line. I don't they catch see an it. unexplained figure on camera, just barely visible oh, yeah. in the dark. Okay, okay, oh, yo, 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 yeah. So I was like looking right here, and when you look here, you don't see anything. But when you look here, that's kind of like the face, right? To be always watching the black them coats. You see, always the black, black clothes or white. From the tree line. They catch an unexplained figure on camera, just barely visible in the dark. So, did Alberto Del Arco and his two cameramen capture evidence of paranormal activity at the mansion? Is it possible that the ghost of the burned man, who the house is named after- It might be a balloon floating around, you know what I mean? Bruh. ...was watching them. Let me know what you think. You can watch this full video over on the YouTube channel, Alberto Del Arco. I'll Just the passing video. through. Paranormal investigator. Oh, that reminded me of WWE when I used to watch it. There was a wrestler by the name of Alberto Del Rio, and it kind of reminded me of that. But number one, ah! There's Beyond the Realm Paranormal. Investigate the Alton Railway Station in Staffordshire, England. The old train station was built in 1849, and it was eventually closed down in 1965. 
So, after over 100 years of travelers and workers passing through the station, it is now believed to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of deceased passengers and railway workers. The five oh. investigators set up motion detectors on the platform close to what used to be the railway track. They start recording, and what they capture is truly bizarre. Truly bizarre? So okay, what this is number one, huh? The motion detector. It only goes off when something walks in front of it. They Lights go up. Straight after it's followed you. Let me do it one more time for you. One more time, please. Well, it's followed. But what happened with the train? Like, I know they removed the train tracks by the looks, but what happened in the train? Like, they, they passed in the train, but how, what, where, how that happened? Exactly where I come from. <gasps> yeah, it sparked up again. We didn't do that. Like, look at Mike. My guy's just so casual. He's so relaxed and something happened right now. Look at that. No. When lead investigator Nick walks back and forth setting off the motion detector, something seems to follow him. Then suddenly a super fast moving white mist seems to pass right through him, knocking him a step back. Bruh. We need to do My that. <laughs> No. What's especially creepy is that Nick seems to both see and react to the mist as it passes right through his body. So did they capture real evidence of the paranormal? Could it be the ghost of a wary traveler still running to catch a long departed train? You decide. Check out ah, this- I don't know, but you wanna really be freaked out? Click on this video on the screen. And I'll see you right there.